Good morning children this is english video session for class 10 the book which we are doing now is first flight chapter number 6 that is 100 roses part 2 we are in page number 78 so very lengthy chapter i repeat again we are in chapter number first flight chapter number 6 for the hundred dresses part 2 and page number 78 yesterday we were talk we were about telling about how miss Ma- the letter which miss mason has received from vanda petronsky okay let's see you remember vanda the gifted little chai artist who won the drawing contest well she has written to me and i'm glad to know where she lives because i can send her medal i want to read her letter to you so she has written a letter to miss wax mason the class sat up in a sudden interest and listened intently say they want to know where she is how she is what she has done all the things they want to know the letter goes like this children Dear Miss Mason, how are you? And room thirteen. What is room thirteen? The inmates of room T, no thirteen. It means all her classmates. Clear. Please tell the girls they can keep those hundred dresses, because in my new cloth house, I have a hundred new ones all lined up in my closet. So what did I do? I made again another hundred dresses. So that is all for the girls only there. Okay. I would like that girl Peggy to have the drawing of the green dress with the red trimming, and her friend Mary to have the blue one. Okay. So this she has specifically given two other dresses for them. Specifically. For Christmas, I miss that school and my teacher does not equalize with you, so she miss very much, Miss Mason. Merry Christmas to you and everybody. He asked truly, Vanda Petrovsky. Did you read the letter, children? On the way home from school, Maggie and Peggy held their drawing carefully, very carefully, very carefully. so that it doesn't get torn all the houses are wreath of and holy in the windows also the grocery store hundreds of christmas trees were stacked and in the window candy peppermint sticks cornucopias what is cornucopias decorative container usually used to full of flowers and fruits cornucopias of shiny transparent paper were strung the air smelled like christmas and light shining everywhere reflected different colors of the snow on the snow different colors on the snow boy said peggy this shows she really loves likes us it shows that she got our letter and this is her way to saying that everything is all right and that's that I hope so," said Mary sadly. She felt sad because she knew she knew she would never see the little tight-lipped Polish girl again, and couldn't ever really make things right between them. She went home and pinned her drawing over the torn place in the pink flood wallpaper in the bedroom. The shabby room came alive. from the brilliancy of the colors Mary sat down on her bed and looked at the drawing she had stood by and said nothing but banda had been nice to her anyway tears blurred her eyes and she gazed for a long time at the picture hastily She rubbed her eyes and studied it intently. The colors in the dress were so vivid 
that she had grasped scarcely noticed the face and the head of the drawing but it took at her madly it really looked like her own mouth why it really looked like her own self vanda has really drawn this for her excitedly she ran over peggy's peg she said let me see your car picture what is the matter asked peggy she clattered up into the room where vanda's poetry was lying face down on the bed mary carefully raised it look she drew you that's you she exclaimed and the head on the face of this picture did look like peggy what did i say said peggy she must have really liked us anyway yes she must have agreed mary and she blinked away the tears that came every time she thought of vanda standing alone in that sunny spot of the school yard looking stolidly over the group of laughing girls after she had walked off and she had sure or a hundred of them all lined up look at the emotion the girl had tears blurred her eyes and she gazed for a long time at the picture then hastily she rubbed her eyes and studied it intently the colors in the dress were so vivid that she had scarcely noticed the face and head of the drawing but it looked like her madi it really looked like her own mouth why it really looked like her own self why is that exclamation because she never thought the picture will be like her okay vanda had really drawn this for her so in reality this picture was really drawn for her only excitedly she ran over to peggy's she ran to peggy peg she said let me see your picture peg peggy was wondering what happened to mary why has she come running what is the matter asked peggy as they cluttered up her room Fernando's drawing was lying face down on the bed. Maddy carefully raised it. Look, she drew you. That is you. She exclaimed. and the head and the face of this picture did look like peggy what did i say said peggy she must have really liked us anyway yes she must have agreed madi as she blinked away the tears that came every time okay but whatever be it mary is not able to forget that she was a coward when she was when the girl was being laughed at or when people were making fun of her she couldn't forget that incident after she walked off and after the always the same reply us a hundred dresses all lined up and she blinked away the tears that came every time she thought of vanda standing alone in that sunny spot 
in the schoolyard looking stolidly over at the group of laughing girls after she had walked off after she had said sure a hundred of them all lined up What did the girls write to Vanda? Did they get a reply? Who was more anxious for the reply, Peggy or Maddie? How do you know? How did the girls know that the war that Vanda liked them, even though they had teased her because they had sent separate pictures for them? Why do you think Vanda's family moved to a different city? do you think life there was going to be different for their family definitely because it's a bigger city nobody cares about the funny names or uh, uh, other things okay where they are from mary thought her silence was as bad as peggy's teasing was it right was she right yes she feels herself as a coward she would have raised her voice and stopped peggy from teasing wanda Peggy says I never thought she had the sense to know that we are making fun of her anyway. Anyway, I thought she was too dumb and gee, look how she can draw. What led Peggy to believe that Vanda was dumb? Did she change her mind's opinion? Because then never she has she pro has she uh, looked angry or anyway. She had always been stolidly standing. So this made her feel, Peggy feel, that she is dumb. Okay. What important decision did Maddie make? What? Why did she think that? She said she thinks that that she would never in the future allow anyone to be picked up, picked up, made fun of. Wanda gave Maddie and Peggy the drawings of the dresses. Why? Because she really liked them. Why are they surprised? They thought, have since they have made fun of her, she would not like her. She would be angry on her. Do you think Wanda really thought the girls were teasing them? Why or why not? As per the story, I don't think that she felt that they are teasing her because they never they were never hard to her. and she felt always that she was given an opportunity to tell about the 100 dresses which she has drawn here are 30 adjectives describing human qualities discuss them what is a kind and a positive positive um quality negative quality kindness is a positive quality or negative quality being sarcastic courteous arrogant insipid timid placid cruel haughty proud zealous intrepid sensitive compassionate introverted stolid cheerful contented thoughtless vain friendly unforgiving fashionable generous talented lonely determined creative measurable complacent in this first you have to make take the oxford dictionary each word you have to write and find the meaning of it 
kind what is the meaning of kind be good okay sarcastic trying to uh, say about others in a covert manner courteous to be very humble arrogant rude you have to write each and every one and the meaning of it what adjectives that can be used to describe peggy and vanda and maddy peggy you can choose adjectives from the list above you can also add some of your own peggy vanda and maddy adjectives adjectives are used to explain the character so here we have the three three characters are there See? what are the characters that are coming here is explaining about their hello hello about their characters the i will call you chiku peggy no. vanda and maddy so we have to find out which adjective will best suit for the characters okay find the sentences in the story with a plural lined up thought up took off shook took off stood by the monday morning blues red in face look green red carpet blue blooded green belt black god gray area white flag blueprint red and green light look at the things that are there in the right side feels moods and emotion feelings moods and emotions feeling embarrassed angry ashamed feeling very sick as if you want to vomit sadness and depression after the weekend of fun sign of permission to begin an action wet flag yes sign to surrender and acceptance to defeat and wish is a sign to surrender or acceptance wish to stop unlawful act while doing unlawful act while doing something wrong a photographic print of the blue pill building plans a detailed plan of the scheme land around the town or city where construction is prohibited by law an area or a subject or a situation where matters are not very clear dishonest person with no sense of right or wrong special welcome noble birth or a royal family okay try to find out the answers and come to the next class is that clear i'll continue with the same thing from the next class with this bye children